This is Joe from BB Geeks, and today we're going to go over how to set up your BlackBerry as a Bluetooth modem on your Mac. So we're going to start out by going down and clicking our system preferences, and we're going to head right over to the Bluetooth, which is under hardware. Alright, then you'll see your screen uh, for the Bluetooth setup. First is Bluetooth power. You're going to want to click that on. You're going to want to make it discoverable, which is the first box, and then, just for good measure, we'll show the Bluetooth status in the status bar. That'll make things a bit easier, and that's really all we need to do right now on the Mac end. So let's turn it over to the BlackBerry side. All right, now, so we move to our device. So we open up the full menu, and we go to set up Bluetooth. Yes, it's in pairing mode, so we hit OK. It'll search for devices and it'll hopefully find the computer. There it goes, right there. Alright, so we select computer. It's going to contact the computer. That's going to wait for a numeric pass key. I prefer the alphanumeric, so you hit click there. And then uh, we can just enter in a quick password. Now, this isn't too, too important because it just has to match the computer over on the computer screen it'll be a bit blurry so I'm not going to go to it you enter in the same password and you'll see it is pairing with my computer and now it is paired with my computer so the trick now we have to go down to my computer and click in the menu button again and you're going to want to go to options and make sure that discoverable now I had changed it before Discoverable is by default no, or at least ask. You have to have it on yes in order for this to work. So change that to yes, and back out. You'll have to save your settings otherwise, and we'll be ready for the next step. All right, now we're back on the Mac, and we're going to go from settings here and the Bluetooth menu to devices. And look right there, the 8830. Now, I had done a little dry run of this before I filmed the video. So it's, it says it's already configured, but you're going to have to go to, uh, to configure to get this started. I'm going to click on that. It's going to gather additional information, and off screen, I'm accepting the connection on my BlackBerry. So you've got to click yes on that, on your, on your BlackBerry, and it'll continue gathering. And then it'll come up with two checkboxes. Use with address book is optional, but access the internet with your phone's data connection obviously is what we're looking for here. So you see those, you hit yes, and continue. Now, the username and password screen will come up here as long as phone number. Uh, we'll post a link in the, uh, in, the, in the post for this. You're going to have, it's going to be different for every carrier. I know Sprint has nothing and nothing for this, so you can just enter it in. Uh, you know, carriers like AT&T and Verizon do have... Uh, a username and password you're supposed to use. So you can enter that in and then I'll move on to the next step. Alright, now that that was done, you'll come up with your finishing page. It's all set up. So we'll hit the quit button and we're back at this. Now we're going to want to go up to the top and you'll see the phone as a modem little icon there. I'm going to click on that and uh, we can hit connect. Connecting. And once again, off screen, on your BlackBerry, you'll have to accept the connection unless you have it, you know, is automatically connecting. Now, I've got an error on this. So, how are we going to go fix that? Well, we're going to go right back into the Bluetooth screen. To do that, you'll just go up and into your little airport thing go down and open internet connection. Um, the reason mine isn't working right now, well, I'm on Verizon and I don't have the tethering plan, so it's not going to connect. Uh, some people say you need a script, script for, uh, for running this. It seems you don't. It's not necessary. Um, but if you want, if you have an 8100, it might be a little bit easier. We'll drop a link in there too. So this should set you up with your BlackBerry as a modem, as I said, as long as you have a tethering plan through Verizon or are able to do so with another carrier. 